man down! Nine YouTubers with over 200 million collective subscribers coming together to compete for $200,000. This is the Mr. Beast Airsoft Battle Royale! Hey, that was, that was a little bit dramatic, Nigel, but um, thanks for the intro, I guess. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new Marshmallows Only Bowl of Lucky Charms. My name is Leon Lush and it's such a pleasure to have you here for a little bit. So listen, I was out in LA this past week for another Mr. Beast challenge as you may already know. The last video I uploaded was me chatting a bunch of shit towards the other creators, obviously in jest, but uh, incredible week at the time of my life. There was $200,000 on the line. I was defending my title from the Circle Challenge last December. Uh, anything could happen. Anyways, um, this is a little bit of my experience. Hope you enjoy. Yo, we're at the course right now. I'm just iPhone vlogging, which I feel kind of like a loser, because look I'm at this camera rig right thing, here. Dude. Look at that camera rig. We got uh, Scuba Jake, the Almighty, Juke Squad, you know, just looking at the course. It's going to be quite a trip, man, but... Uh, this is going to be fun. Well, yeah, we're trying to come I'm up with so some trip. I know, it's going to be a lot I of fun. I think with you guys, we're going to win. Yeah, hell yeah, dude. We got to. We got to. <laughs> I was going to bring my scuba tank if there's a pond, but I don't see a pond. <laughs> Imagine that. You know what I was thinking? There's probably a puddle big enough for you to fucking hide in. Let's roll around in mud, and then we'll just become mud monsters, and we'll blind <laughs> it. I had my life. Oh, word. Let's go. You all remember Alex, right? Say hello, man. Hello, man. Did you guys Hello. Thank you, bro. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. I already tried giving Keem 10K to give me bulletproof balloons, but he wasn't having it. So, I'm gonna, yeah, it looks like it's going to have to be a fair game, but... I've been offered 20. Quit. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He said 20 minimum. I'm just not willing to sink that into this, so... We'll just fucking play my cards. Oh, what do you got, a biscuit, dude? So, we're out here. We just got introduced to the secret weapon from Jack. Uh, <laughs> We're all gonna we just throw some babies on because who would actually in their right mind shoot a baby? That's ridiculous. No you can't shoot a child. No. A young child, especially hey, a young child wearing one. Gucci and a uh huh. Okay. <laughs> especially a so, child with a wearing, golden scar. A golden a scar and a Gucci onesie, bro. <laughs> Nobody can shoot that. Are you kidding me right now? The strats. <laughs> the strats, dude. Team baby, bro. Yeah, dude. We Team got baby. This. Ooh, Let's go. Dude, I can't. Two hundred k on the line. Babies are gonna be the. the they're gonna be the, the we secret We have to do everything sauce. we can to win, and Jack thought outside the box. Let's go get some guns and take some pictures. <laughs> let's just go. I just want to walk in, dude. All uh, right, let's roll. Let's roll. Yeah. So Jack comes up to me. He's like, "Yo, I got a secret weapon." So we go out to his car, and he opens his trunk, and he's got three baby dolls and three carrying harnesses. <laughs> and it was perfect, you know. Who's gonna shoot? Who's gonna shoot you if you're wearing a cute little baby doll around your neck? So we have a laugh. We walk back into the park. Um, everyone has a chuckle, and we were kind of like in a couple of vlogs. But ultimately. Uh, you're probably not going to see that in Mr. Beast video uh, when that comes out, which I haven't seen yet, obviously, because at the time of recording this, uh, that's not up, so I can't comment on it. But uh, it was sponsored by Apex Legends, and it was just a little bit too iffy for the sponsors, having little babies around all these guns, blah, 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 blah. But it was it was fun while it lasted. All the other guns are already laid out or being laid out on the course now. Find them. Each section is going to have different amounts of weapons and anything else you might want or need throughout. There's going to be heavy looted spots, light looted spots. So you're going to want to keep moving. All right, all the rules were laid out. Everyone's gearing up right now, and it's about to pop off. It's going. How do you feel about it? Oh, yeah, for sure. How do I feel? Oh, my God, that's what I look like right now? Yeah, dude. Yo, hey, man, this high tech camera right here. Dude, I love it. This is the man right here. Yeah. How are you feeling about how it's going so far? Dude, everyone's smiling. So Dude, I'm everyone's happy. pumped. Yeah. We're excited. It's gonna be a different vibe in about a half an hour after yeah. the first when round. You just, like, Someone comes out the vector. A couple you, people butt hurt. You want to some of that? Like the sun's that way, so we should be facing this direction. This guy. This is why I love this guy. Yeah. He's yeah. always he thinking knows. about yeah. the footage. Yeah. Yeah. Look at this. Yeah. Look at this. There yeah, we go. That's better. Let's get all right. the shade on. Yeah, dude. All right, cool. Now yeah. I got you the tip. <laughs> As we all gather around to prepare for round one, there's still a friendliness in the air, but a subtle bloodthirsty aura permeates the pleasantries. Then as we walk to the starting zone and look around keenly for anything that may give us a leg up in this competition, I made a foreboding observation. Dude, it is slippery as fuck. Oh, and wouldn't I soon know it. I'm fast. I'm yeah, feel free. Maybe I should grab that, run to the middle, grab a couple more guns. Now the strategies were sound, but the second that horn blows, all hell breaks loose and instincts take over. We're gonna make plans, it's all gonna go to shit. We're just gonna do what we can. Yeah. Oh, 
Man down! Yes, okay, yes, I slipped in the first five steps of the very first round, okay? It was muddy, it was slippery, and I did it on purpose. I wanted to put on a good show as an entertainer. Obviously, it was on purpose. Yeah, unfortunately, that kind of set the tone for how this round would end up for me. So Jack grabs a handful of guns and we lock down the rear end of sector one with the maze and the huts that you see on the left of your screen here. Now after some time goes by and we've engaged in some long distance firefights in which I had already lost one balloon, we move to engage with the blue team in this opposite corner. I'm shooting from behind this structure which was a stupid move because the cover was not good at all, but simultaneously my teammate Jake made a play around the side and eliminated their entire team. Unfortunately, even though I had popped a balloon or two on the enemy team, I had already lost my last two balloons in this gunfight and was dealt an early elimination from round one. Absolute dog shit. Hey, fall back, fall back, fall back, fall back. Listen, it's the first round. Okay, I'm out a little bit early. Big deal. So maybe I was eliminated by the only all girls team. But what did I tell you in my last video, okay? With all the testosterone and swinging dicks around there, those girls are going to be sleepers. Ah, I don't know. These girls, they may be the sleepers, right? This is just a, it's a competition filled with testosterone. And mind you, my teammates went up the side and eliminated their whole team. I just happened to be the sacrificial lamb because I didn't know the stupid fucking thing I was standing behind didn't cover my balloons for shit. I wasn't even passed! It's all part of the strategy. Counting on you, boys. Shit. Oh my god! No, wait, wait, wait. Whoa. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Flank. Wait, wait, what color are you? Black? Black, yeah. You guys were... Wait, wait, wait. Leon, what happened? Dude, I don't know. I had a good spot. I got a balloon. I think it was Pokey. It's Perp yeah. Team Purple. It was the ladies. Popped one. I think someone came from the other side. Just I lost one early when I was going for the gun. Lost one yeah. real early. Then I went with the other two. I also took a nice digger in the mud, so that should be. Oh, hopefully that's on camera. You guys were stocking. Dude, I'm guns. feeling. Listen, we have guns. We got tons of artillery over there. Both my teammates have three balloons still. They got ammo. I yeah. think we're gonna be all right. Dude, I was just the fall. I just took the, the fall, man. Right there. Yeah, the look at those. Are right the there. first team to get eliminated. <laughs> so game one's getting exciting right now. Um, <clears throat> we started off in a good zone down here. It's a light loot zone but it's where the, the game ends up pushing to. So we went out early to get guns. I lost a balloon early and we engaged with the team. I was kind of the sacrificial lamb. I lost both of my balloons, got a couple on the other team. They wiped the other team while we were engaging and uh, I got out early, but now both my teammates are down here looking good. Two balloons apiece. the horn just blew. That means the zone's getting smaller and smaller. I think there's like three or four teams left and uh, it's about to get real serious in the next five minutes. So Jack and Jay continue to fight heroically into the later parts of the round, uh, get in a firefight in the maze, and eventually both of them do get eliminated. So that's no dice for our team for round one. You're probably gonna see a better depiction of how that went down in Mr. Beast's video. I am gonna link that in my description. You've probably already watched it, if we're being honest. But uh, that that's it, man. No dice for Leon, Jack, and Jake in the first round. On to round two. Game one winners just declared uh, the animators, man. Jaden Animations, odd ones out. And so the two animators and Anthony from Smosh took the first round, and I gotta be honest, I did not see that one coming, so kudos to them. We're gonna blow the air horn for sinking. I'm gonna sink. Now we'll start walking guys out. All right, so we drew the same spot. So by a stroke of chance, we pulled the same number out of the hat for game two, so we started in the exact same zone. The strategy remained the same, collect guns, hold our location, and wait for the rest of the teams to get pushed to us. We decided to hold the maze this time around, getting an occasional long distance firefights, but keeping all our balloons intact while other teams started to fall. Alright, you hold there, I'll hold here. Okay. Jake, come back here. After a while, Jack made the suggestion that we move to this storage container that has a pretty decent window view with good balloon cover, and this is where the majority of the rest of the match would transpire. 
I got two balloons, I'm out of ammo. Hell yeah, bitch, got myself a double kill. You guys are teaming up! Is this death? Yeah, what? Did you get him? I got one. Nice, set him, boy. As it turns out, three teams near the back of the course where we started had banded together to try and thin the herd. So when it came time, we again ran into Pokey, Valkyrie, and Kitty Plays, and we decided to call them over to the container as a temporary ally. My, my, my goggles are fogged up so hard right now. Mine too. Oh, he's coming through the maze. He's coming through the maze. Coming through the maze. Coming through the maze. Watch side. Watch side. So we continue to valiantly hold down this storage container as the teams start getting forced closer and closer together, and we pick off a few balloons here and there along the way. Now, after several fights, we were still strong in numbers, but the empty guns were mounting up, and it was tough knowing what had ammo and what didn't. Fuck, where are they coming from? Right here, right here. Right you got one, you got one left. We need slot. Final zone. Third half, third final half, close right now. We got them, ready, ready, ready! Now at this point, I believe it was Roman Atwood who led a pretty good assault on us and eliminated Jake while at the same time getting himself eliminated. Go ahead, balloons. Jew. Yes, you got one. It's worth mentioning that there was no easy way of telling if all your balloons had been popped or not without asking uh, someone nearby or a teammate. Next out was Jack as things started to heat up and our numbers continued to dwindle. Is that gonna be more right there? Am I done? Yeah, suck it, bitch. Do you know if these guns have ammo? At this point, I was getting restless. Other teams were closing in, and I was down to one balloon stuck in the sardine can with the last of the girl team. I feel like we gotta get out of here, we're like sardines. The zone is gonna close and it's gonna go that way. Okay. So the road where you see the, the, the cone? Yep. That's where it's gonna close at. So we're that way forward. Okay. Again, I had no idea how much ammo these guns had, if any, so it was a bit of a guessing game just picking them up and trying to fire a round off to figure it out. Now my goggles were fogged up to all hell, and looking down the sights was almost impossible to begin with, so I opted for the dual wield to maximize my spray and pray technique. Yeah, that's, that's out of fucking ammo. And that, that one's out too. You know what? Fuck it. Let's go, bitch. Leroy Jenkins! Ah, oh, shit. You know what? That one, that one might have been out of ammo as well. <laughs> oh, boy. Listen, I didn't even want the money. I <laughs> mean, mo money, mo problems, right? Just give me a break. This, this was—I only did this just to help out Mr. Beast. This was. <laughs>
You ran out of the storage container with a gun that had no ammo! Idiot. So my apologies, guys. I wasn't able to defend my title, uh, but I was just there for the sport. You know, I just, it was a good experience all around, and... Just happy to have been a part of it, you know? And in perfect irony, on the way out, I see none other than Cole LeBrant, the man I probably gave the most shit to going into this, standing strong heading into the final battle. Now, he didn't end up winning, but I thought that was just pretty funny. Uh, and in reality, he's actually a very nice guy to get to chat with him a little bit. So, one of the teams of gamers, I believe Preston plays Unspeakable Gamer and Typical Gamer, they went on to win the second round, and that is a wrap. What an experience. Met so many incredible people. That's a wrap, bro. I just, uh, I've always wanted to vlog next to Roman Atwood, so I decided. <laughs> Dude, I, I love the phone vlog. Dude, phone vlogging, phone vlogging is the future. So many cameras, like, you got everywhere. Just cameras. Vlogging master over here has got an actual camera, which is nonsense. Oh, oh. The event just wrapped up. Didn't take home the hundred, okay? But we, we held out. That second round was a lot better for me personally. The team, we, we locked down the storage unit. Look at this shaving now. Who's the better? Yeah, right? he told me if They're I didn't shaving win now. That, that they were going to shave my beard, so I don't know. He's getting shaved like this guy. <laughs> what beard? What? <laughs> uh, but uh, held it down. I think it was like top, it was like fourth or fifth team out in the last round. Really an incredible incredible experience and uh, so many YouTubers here, brother. You know, the craziest thing about this entire experience is, what? is the fact that some of these people watching this video aren't subscribed to Leon Lush. I, that, that drives me insane, to be it, honest I, with you. It, it makes no sense. You know, you bring all these people out, you're here making content, and people still don't just hit that subscribe well, the button. The world is full of injustices. Maybe next year. Well, <laughs> I'm glad someone cares. <laughs> Yo, this is the Mr. B Squad right here. Thank you, gentlemen. Epic victory. How was your bath, Leon? Dude, I, I took I went out in epic style in that last yeah, round. I, that was beautiful. I went out with two there, went out with two guns Rambo style, jumped in a puddle, uh, and got demolished. But you it was, it was me, you, you, yeah, 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 I was right next you, to you. You jumped in the puddle? Uh, dude, it's when you see when you're 33, jump jump is another way of saying I jump tripped and, and, and fell and into a puddle. But uh, yeah, really an incredible event, just the, the magnitude of it. For 200 million subscribers of power in this place, me being like only one of that, <laughs> but uh, really fortunate to be a part of it. And uh, now we're gonna go shower up and, and uh, head out to the Cloud House for the after party, so. Anyways, I'm back in Boston now, no richer than the day I left, but my soul is richer for the experience. <laughs> big thanks to Mr. Beast and his entire crew, incredible job pulling off such a big YouTuber event and such a huge thanks to you guys as always for putting me in a position where I'm fortunate enough to be able to be a part of these things and have these incredible life experiences. I'm so grateful uh, for all that you guys have done for me through your support, through watching and, uh, and being a part of this whole YouTube thing. So thank you so much for that. Finally, if any of you are going to PAX East this year in the Boston area, I will be there Friday and Saturday. I'm doing a meetup on Saturday the 30th of this month. Um, I don't know the exact time in location yet, but keep uh, tabs on my Twitter and my Instagram. I will be updating as the date gets closer. That's April 30th, Saturday, PAX East, sometime in the afternoon. I'm going to be doing a meetup in Boston. This is the first meetup I'm doing. I'm really looking forward to it. If you're going to be there, I really hope to see you. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, we'll see you in the next one. Back to regular programming soon. Make sure you get up out of your chair. Just like this, and then just suspend one leg in the air and just gently tickle the inside of your thigh until you get the tingles. Then you put it back down and pop! Hip thrust that motherfucking like button for me like you always do. Thanks so much. We'll see you in the next one. Peace. Yeah. Peace. You. You. You.